video is about how to be elegant or how to be more elegant so in case that's a subject that you're interested in make sure you keep on watching Hi, my name is Amanda and on this channel we talk about all things luxury fragrance, we also talk some lifestyle and beauty content, so if that's something that you love, make sure you stay and subscribe to my channel. Also head over to my description box and follow me on Instagram and also follow me on TikTok, I'm new there, so if there's any particular content that you would like to see over there, make sure you let me know in the comments below. So this video is a little bit of a different video, I have to be honest with you. Um, but I get so many requests in my DMs. I don't know why, I feel very blessed <laughs> that you ask me uh, about these kind of videos and I thought, okay, so why not uh, make my video? I just want to say as a disclaimer in advance, um, I don't think there is I don't think there's such a thing as right or wrong when it comes to be ele being elegant. I don't think it's black and white. I think it's an individual perception. So if you don't agree with me, that's totally fine. I'm just going to let you know what my um, idea of elegance is and how I make sure I feel elegant or I don't know I just I don't really I don't really tell myself oh no I need to be elegant but this is my perception of elegance this is how I perceive other people um I would say like I would say someone else is elegant based on these things that I'm going to talk to you about and yeah let's get that into it the first thing that I want to mention is that um, I know a lot of you ask me about like fashion advice or styling tips and I'm working on that. I'm going to do like a styling video for you, but I have to be honest with you, for me, elegance is all about your inner beauty and the way you are with other people. I feel like for me, I perceive as elegant someone that's very soft-spoken, someone that's very kind, someone that's... Um, you know, considerate, someone that consider other, considers other people feeling, someone that listens, like if you sit with a woman, for example, and she's really listening to you and she's paying attention to, to you, I feel like someone like that would be someone I would uh, also perceive as elegant, of course, with other things. But this is really one thing that is really important. I feel like a lot of times when you look online or when you look at videos online, they say, oh, um, you have to wear a tweed skirt or a tweed set and that's very elegant. And of course, when we talk about fashion, it's completely different thing but if I feel like uh, someone that's elegant also doesn't judge like I feel like that's so important I really believe if you are looking to be more elegant and you're looking to be more classy then first and foremost make sure that you really are a good human being and that you don't judge other people that you're very considerate and one of the biggest thing is I think elegant women people like women that I consider as elegant these people mind their business they are not in other people's businesses they're not like I, I like I think I always go from the principle that you know from the principle that I don't know like everyone has their own different life I never judge based on what other people look like, what their life looks like, because you never know at the end of the day, you don't live their life and you live your own life and you have no idea what's going on in other people's lives. So I don't judge. And also a lot of things, they don't really, I, I don't have, they have nothing to do with me. So it's none of my business. So yeah, I feel like that that's, that's the most important thing. Like whenever you are trying to level up and you're trying to really become a better version of yourself, it really, really starts on the inside and it really, really starts with how you treat others. So no tweed skirt, no handbag, no elegant shoe can ever cover that because you want to be an elegant and classy being and not just from the outside on an Instagram post. So when once we covered that, I think the other thing that's really important is how you carry yourself. And I think, of course, we all women, we struggle with this. You know, it can be very difficult nowadays, especially because there's so many beauty standards out there. Um, so it's really, really difficult to find a way to feel comfortable in your skin and um, not compare yourself to others. But trust me, confidence is your secret weapon. And I think a lot of women, Susan's, uh, Susan's team, a lot of women underestimate um, the power that they can hold when they just start to really appreciate themselves and I know it's easier said than done trust me I'm 28 years old now and it's been a long journey for me to feel comfortable in my skin and I think we all have different things that we can be insecure about but I just want to share what I've learned from my experience is that you're always gonna be you you're never gonna be someone else so you are never gonna change you can change things physically you can change your hair you can change even like you know things with surgery but you're always gonna be you and the the more you accept that the more you are gonna be happy and also the other thing is that's really important to know is that beauty standards change all the time so if you're just running around to meet a certain standard then you're gonna be very unsuccessful because the standards change all the time and beauty standards are not created to make you happy beauty standards are created to make money out of you because 
if there would be no insecurities, then in a lot of businesses would not exist today because simply that's how they, you know, that's, that's, that's a big industry. Like the beauty industry is huge. doesn't mean that you, like I, I, I just come a little bit back to that after. Um, so I think it's really, really important to understand that um, you can, all, like you can, everything that you learn in life, it's programmed. I, I, I like to believe that. Um, I like to believe that you can talk to yourself in a kind way and that, that it can impact you. So if you feel like you are being insecure, then maybe ask yourself, why do I feel like that? Is it maybe that I have people in my environment that make me feel not beautiful? Or is it my friends that make me feel like that? Or is it myself? Do I talk to myself? I think that's really important because I did, when I started my journey uh, of like self-acceptance and, you know, leveling up personally, I feel like, I started asking myself how I talk to myself and I caught myself talking really badly about myself so I think that's really important to know that and to try to change the narrative to tell yourself it's okay like if I don't have a good day I, it doesn't make me stupid or that doesn't make me ugly or incapable it just makes me human and I don't have to function all the time I don't have to feel good all the time as well but I just have to accept myself and love myself the way I am because I 100% believe that in 20 years time you're gonna look back on yourself and you're gonna tell yourself I was the best like this was the best I've ever looked and I had so many insecurities so I think the way you carry yourself can make yourself elegant it's just being unapolog unapologetically you and you don't have to be perfect honestly um, I think there's a lot of pressure there's a lot of proced procedures and again I want to just come back to that like I don't judge anyone that does anything I think that you have to decide what you want to do and if there's something that makes you feel better about yourself then that's your own decision but I just think that it's important to feel good about yourself no matter what because you only have yourself you're not gonna change you're not gonna be anyone else and I think when you become unapologetically you and you feel comfortable in your skin people see that and people the feel people that. that are or as women also we can have friends or these are not really friends but you know we can meet people that are very negative and that can make you feel bad about yourself but trust me these people it's just deflecting on how they feel about themselves because trust me someone that's very confident in themselves they're more than happy that you're succeeding and they're more than happy that you feel great about yourself and they want you to make be feel great about yourself because they do themselves so that's a really really big point so these are, I think, the biggest points if you are looking to be more elegant. It's really an inner work and um, these are the biggest points. So we have um, being kind and a good person to other people and also being kind and a good person to yourself and just accepting yourself. And I want to also again mention this, there are no beauty standards. Beauty standards have been created by society. You can create your own beauty standards. You are beautiful the way you are, whether you have I don't know what kind of nose, whether you have, I don't know what kind of lips, you are beautiful the way you are and you don't need a change. You just need to learn how to fully accept yourself and then go from that point. Then the other thing for me is I know a lot of people say, um, you know, you have to always be put together. I really believe that um, you have to do whatever makes you feel comfortable, but I can just tell myself, I've always been a person, even when I was younger, I like to, to get my hair done. I like to get, you know, makeup it's just always been my thing i've never forced this on anyone i never forced this on myself i honestly am like this but i also have days where i just want to be in my track suits and want to be um you know comfortable and i really believe and I, I i think that you can be elegant and have sneakers i mean i, I still look to put together and I, I go somewhere but I just don't feel like wearing a lot of makeup I would wear for example Charlotte Tilbury's flawless filter which is just like a little bit of a a just a little bit of color and I just wear some eyeliner like some mascara and just brush my brows um, but that's me I don't honestly I think people it's like a lot of people that were like oh she's very elegant these are people a lot that are very effortless they don't really do a lot a lot of people that are elegant are not even aware of but um i honestly have to be I, i'm honest being honest with you as so many people of you write me comments that you find me elegant and i so appreciate it and i could get told it but i don't wake up and be like i'm gonna be elegant today i just want to feel comfortable and i just want to be myself authentically and maybe the elegant style or like i would say the class i would say you know a little bit of a 
old-fashioned style is maybe not your style and that's totally fine and I think there are no rules you have to really dress how you feel comfortable trust me in my opinion elegance is really coming from the inside so if you already work on the two parts then you're already good and then I would just like to address shortly how I make an outfit elegant if I like for example I want to add it a little bit of um, a sophisticatedness I would say so I always work with jewelries like um, I don't always have, like wear real jewelry I also have like fashion jewelry like the brand I worked with um, I like to wear gold hoops or like bracelets I like to wear like pearls I always love love loved vintage earrings they're clip earrings they're bigger they just immediately give you a completely different look so if you imagine for example I will try to put something in if you have like black pants and um, white top that's a bit loose you can put it in your black pants you have the what the big um, vintage earrings and some loafers it immediately looks elevated it immediately looks elegant but you're still very casual but i will do a separate styling video on how i style my pieces if you want but this is like something that you can you know uh, shush up a little bit your outfit if you're looking to elevate your outfit i highly recommend you invest in some nice shoes in some nice bags i really work with accessories like you as you know i'm not very fussy when it comes to clothes like i am being more fussy because i want to be more sustainable and i also want to have a smaller collection because i think it's for me it's over that collecting these huge amounts of clothes i just want to have a very very curated nice collection of clothes and just be able to wear my pieces together and i think you know i would like to do what i like to do is be a dress very simple but choose it up with a nice blazer with, with a nice bag with some nice shoes with some nice accessoires so i prefer to invest more if i would have an amount to invest either in shoes or clothes i would probably go with that accessoire route because i just feel like that can just completely change your outfit and i just like to dress very simple for me also that's really important is comfort because i don't really believe in like you know if i wear an outfit i'm not comfortable in i will not look classy i will look awkward because you know i will not feel my best so i make sure that all of my clothes that i wear all of my outfits are very 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 comfortable because honestly i cannot bother to just um wear something just for it to look good i have to be honest with you and <clears throat> that's basically it i think um that's just my idea of being elegant and as, as I said I'm gonna make a video about um, elegant ways to dress or how I style my outfits to make it look more elegant but I'm I hesitated to do this video because I don't like videos where people are like you have to do this to be this you have to do this to be this because I truly don't believe in it I really believe it's all about perception and no perception can be wrong because it's in your individual perception and you have the right to have a certain perception so but for me really being elegant has really most to do with yourself like honestly being a kind person and really working on yourself and just being kind to yourself as well i just think it's really important um don't be rude to other people don't judge i just i just don't think it's good and i also believe everything you put out there is coming back to you eventually so i don't know if that helps but yeah i hope this video it was so what helpful for you i know it was a very chatty video but i you asked me for it so i hope at least that you enjoyed it if you would like a styling video then make sure you let me know in the comments below and i see you next time